Apple just released the RC candidates for iOS 26.2. There it is, and I'm gonna go and install it. So, yeah, I could see over here, it does come in at 8.46 gigabytes. You're not getting my passcode. This is crazy, and this is the RC candidate, so that means that the official version will be released after this. So, this is the final beta before iOS 26.2 goes out to the public. Yeah! Woo! Happy face, could you believe this? All right, I'll calm down, and four minutes left, it should be done. I'll be back. All right, so iOS 26.2 RC is now installed on my iPhone 17. So I'm not going to be talking about any of the other bullshit. I talked about in previous videos, so these videos will not be repetitive. All the information that I'm going to share in this video is specific to what's new and the beta of RC. I know how annoying it could get once you keep on repeating the same information every single video. All right, so starting off, first things first, if I open up settings and head down over to general and then about, you guys can see that I have 469.96 <laughs> gigabytes of free space available. My bad. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, I did let my iPhone sit after installing 26. Point two beta RC because as you guys know that number does fluctuate once it's a fresh and clean install 469.96 gigabytes free now before 449.23 so it looks like iOS 26.2 RC freed up let's see what is that about 200 megabytes of free space and if I head back over to the settings application let's go over back to iPhone storage to see what's new with the storage and what's going on over there so you guys can see in the iOS section, it's taking up 20.54 gigabytes, whereas before on beta 3, it had a total size of 28.3 gigabytes. So iOS was taking up 21.76, whereas on RC, it is now taking only 13.92. So that is crazy. And on top of that, Apple Intelligence was taking up 6.62 on beta 3, and on the RC, it's taking up 6.62. So it looks like iOS itself is a lot more optimized and taking up a lot less space. But anyways, let's go to system data. It's now taking 8.6 six gigabytes and before let's go and see it was taking up 16.88 gigabytes guys it's taking up half the space now on the rc beta as compared to beta 3 so that's crazy it looks like the ios software itself and also the system data is taking up a lot less space so it looks like on the rc they removed a bunch of temporary files or whatever it may be it's a lot more optimized so yeah guys we thought we would get ios 26.2 beta 4 but after after some time, after a longer period of waiting than we initially expected, we, instead of beta 4, got the RC release candidate, the final beta before the public release. So, this is pretty cool. And again, in this video, we're going to continue comparing Surprise. the previous beta of iOS 26.2, which was beta 3, to iOS 26.2 RC, which I have right here. So, my iPhone Air over here is running the beta 3 of iOS 26.2, and then we have the RC on the right over here. So, let's go do some comparisons. All right, so here's what I... I found so first off if I bring over my keyboard what do you guys notice the keyboard is a lot darker so I did confirm this on my iPhone 17 Pro in cosmic orange which I am actually recording this video with which is insane in certain scenarios when recording like this actually does better than my Sony a7 DSLR full camera but again I could confirm that even on iOS 26.1 that the keyboard looks like how it does on beta 3 where it's a lot lighter and now on the RC look at that contrast contrast guys look at how much nicer it looks bro so when you type on buttons it looks basically the same you got the same functionality as well but it just has a better contrast with being darker now look at this if i type in look okay no pun intended all right you guys can see that look how much different it looks when it pops up with that preview of that note that i had so again on the left we have beta 3 you guys can see what that looks like where i don't know it looks like way too zoomed in it's weird this looks a lot more put together you guys can see the full notes application even shows where the note is so it's an iCloud versus on my iPhone and what I do like about on beta 3 and iOS 26.1 was that it actually highlights the word that I use but again we just typed it in right there too so does that really matter it doesn't show it anymore on the RC but I think this looks a lot nicer what do you guys think look at that guys okay now what else I noticed is if we hop on into the settings application ignore all my notifications this is this is freaking annoying I wish we could just like not show notification settings bro like it's taking up my full front page bro okay anyways I just go 
down and let's head over to wallpaper and if i go ahead and add a new wallpaper you guys will see that you could spot something different right here and weather and astronomy so the thumbnails i don't know if this is a bug or a glitch but you guys could see that the planets are kind of solar eclipsed i don't know what's going on right there this is probably a bug at first i got excited i'm like oh new wallpapers but then i realized like hey it's basically the same thing okay let's go to the moon one now so that's the moon one so i guess the thumbnails are just screwed up for some odd reason absolutely yeah interesting little thing right there i guess they need to fix that bug a new bug now what's also new is if you head over to the message application this dropped me nuts how this is a little bit darker okay all right so if i head over to a contact and going to tap on the arrow for the contact to bring up the whole menu i'm not going to bring my iphone more up because otherwise i have to blur and sometimes i'm terrible with blurring out information anyways you guys can see what's new over here so on the left again we have beta 3 so again we have info backgrounds photos and links now on the right and the rc we have info backgrounds and links so basically what happened is if we go into backgrounds you guys could see that the photos option was consolidated into the backgrounds i thought this was an interesting little change so instead of having another tab for photos over there now you're in the backgrounds tab and you have the photo option over there so it was kind of just clunking up the space for no reason and that's a lot more simple all right and aside from those features basically everything else looks the same so i was scouring through everything whether it be safari and everything looks the same the keyboards look the same over there in the light mode there's no new emojis that i saw so same emojis and yeah just some quality of life improvements even the animations are pretty much the same with that being said it does feel more smooth so again you got the same bounce to the notification center when you go to the different toggle menus again it has that fluid liquid look which looks really really cool and again same thing on the when edit home screen so again you got that liquid animation over there which looks really nice it feels very fast and responsive and when going to the app library there's no lag which for me personally i never had that lag and let's go and check out lock screen wallpaper looks like compared to once i unlock so there it is on lock screen and so yeah looks like everything just looks absolutely great i don't know why i started i'm saying great guys but yeah overall this release candidate should be focused on fixing a bunch of bugs that were prevalent that you guys submitted through the feedback app now again ios 26.2 rc does block the gestalt exploits so if you want to use misaka 26 to basically get the ipad interface be able to use your phone in landscape mode and just a bunch of other tweaks to install on your iphone just to have more customization just be able to do cool stuff that you would not be able to do with with these security patches blocked then i would recommend downgrading to ios 26.1 if you do want to have those tweaks and again i do have more videos coming on cool stuff that you could do on your iphone and ipad so ios 26.2 beta 2 is the one that officially blocks the gestalt exploits so anything above that again will do the same as well and after some time you will no longer be able to downgrade back to ios 26.1 yeah let me know what you guys think and if you want to install ios 26.2 if you will be installing it let me know down below in the comments otherwise are you going to be sticking to ios 26.1 which by the way i do have a video final video coming out as well on certain bugs and stuff like that that i've been having so you can decide anyways one last thing that we're going to do is run a geekbench so i'm going to go and run the cpu geekbench right here and let's going to see what kind of single core and multi-core score we get on this final rc so you Usually the RC is the exact copy that is officially released to the public. So yeah, unless like some people discover like a major like bug or something, this is where the RC comes in to be able to save the day before the official launch. So let's go wait for this and I'll be back once it's done. All right, so it just completed and looks like we have a single core score of 3,590 and a multi-core score of 9,247. I don't know what the previous scores were, but I'll put them over here on beta three. But yeah, guys, again, aside from that, I'm not going to be talking talking about the features that we already talked about that are new in ios 26.2 but i mean i will just talk about this one major feature that this is going to be known for so if you customize the lock screen and tap on the clock of course you have this slider over here where you can adjust the transparency
frequency of your clock as well. So it gives it this really cool effect. So you can have it be more or less glassy or transparent. That's the major feature that's coming to iOS 26.2. And yeah, let's check out real quick what it looks like in different colors. There's blue. And again, I'm going to make it. That looks really cool. That looks really cool. I'm not going to lie, but I mean, it does hurt visibility, but does it look cool? Look at that. It looks like a candy, bro. Like it's like a lollipop. I could just, uh, okay, pause. All right, but I think it looks pretty nice. Anyways, guys, if you do want to see other features that I mentioned about iOS 26.2 in general, I'll link those videos of the previous betas down below in the description. So again, go and watch and binge through those. Back to you, Everyday I Tech. All right, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. P Peace. I could swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin.